Some people think that pocket operators are toys, but today's Summer of Synth guest is here to show us that that is not the case. Give a warm welcome to Gar Hoover. What's going on everybody? Gar Hoover here. Thank you Bo for allowing me to be part of your Summer of Synths. And the synthesizers that I would like to talk about today happen to be pocket operators. Now I understand pocket operators have become a bit of a joke on the internet to some. They've been deemed bad gear. Some have viewed them as the Nick Cage of synthesizers, but I will tell you they are powerful. And today I'm gonna show you five reasons why pocket operators are cool and you should have them as part of your synth setup. All right, so the first reason why pocket operators are so cool is parameter locking. Ah, the bird. Now you might see it and think it has a very simple sequencer or only hear people make very basic melodies on them, but pocket operators can go deep, especially per step thanks to parameter locks. You can adjust the pitch of a sample per step or one of the different synths per step or the filtering. There's all kinds of adjustments that can be made. And if you hold down right while you are recording in something, you can adjust the knob and it creates this uh, motion capture essentially where it's this automated experience where you can really shape a sound over a pattern or two. And in the case of the PO32 in this demonstration, you will see that I have sequenced in using parameter locks, a bass line with the kick drum and done additional effects with the hi-hats and it really does add to the sound. Right, so the second reason why pocket operators are cool is for their ability to sync to other synthesizers. All pocket operators have the ability to pass sync alongside of their audio. So using something like an audio cable splitter to split left and right, you can connect it to other pocket operators or other synthesizers and carry their sync on to whatever synthesizer you'd like to attach it to and carry on their audio to a separate source such as your mixer. This allows for better connectivity and for everything to stay in groove. And pocket operators do a great job at receiving sync as well, whether that is going from one pocket operator to the next or from one synthesizer to your pocket operator. So the third reason why pocket operators are cool is because of sampling. Now there are two different pocket operators that are great when it comes to sampling other things. The first being the PO33 knockout, which has a built-in microphone, or you can record direct into the input and the PO35 speak, which takes a sample and turns it into vocal synthesis. So you can really mangle it and get some wild stuff. But if you guys know me from my channel, you know I love the PO33 because of its flexibility. I love to sample anything and try and make it into music. Whether that's me trying to run around and sample my dog, 
whether that's a bag of coffee because synthesis and coffee go so well together or my Wurlitzer, we can make a fun sound and a fun track out of these simple samples and make something legitimate from it with just the PO33. Obviously, sampling in is really fun, but another great thing to do, especially with the PO33 or the 35, is resampling those things back into a DAW or another synthesizer now that they've been processed. The PO33 does a good job at making samples kind of low resolution and dusty, especially if you pitch them down. So it's a great way to get that low five feel without having to use plugins or anything else and really personalizing your samples. All right, so the fourth reason why pocket operators are cool is for their playability. Now, when you think about a pocket operator, obviously the grid does not look like it's something that's playable in comparison to a piano. But with a piano or a guitar or any other traditional way of making music, we kind of get caught in these ruts with muscle memory and other things and get used to playing certain scales or melodies, just things we're comfortable with. Pocket operators push us out of that boundary and into a place where we're making melodies that we might not think of normally on a piano or a guitar or whatever else. Now, pocket operators are great for playing out scales, but they're also great when it comes to sequencing or playing drums live as well. Obviously, the Tonic does a great job at playing drums, and the KO also does a great job playing drums live as well in kind of like an MPC style or Machina style format that is a lot of fun. And the PO28 Robot does a great job for playing live. Before we move on with the video, I just want to mention our Summer of Synths sponsor, DistroKid. So if the Summer of Synths videos have inspired you to create some music and you want to release it, you should use DistroKid. They're very quick to get the music onto stores and it only costs $20 a year and you can upload unlimited amounts to all the relevant stores like Spotify, iTunes. We got Amazon Music, we got Tidal. It's also super easy to collaborate using DistroKid, so if you are working on music with other people and you need to share the revenue between each other it's super easy to set up you basically just insert the emails of the people that you're working with and it's pretty much that simple and then they get a cut of whatever revenue you're making from your music so definitely check out DistroKid I've linked them down below if you use the link you support Summer of Synths and you get a discount thank you so much DistroKid for all the years of supporting Bow Beats and thank you for supporting Summer of Synths the fifth reason why pocket operators are cool is simply that they are fun on their own. Some synthesizers, they sound great by themselves, but if you don't have the rest of the means, whether that's drums or other synths to sequence, it can just become kind of like you just jamming with some ambient stuff and that's it. Unlike with like a KO here, you have four tracks that you can sequence of different sounds. So you could go bass, chords, lead line, and drums all on this as an all-in-one jam. 
And sometimes it's good to just take synths out of the studio and just kind of jam, whether that's on a plane or in a car or wherever. This is a great little synth that can keep your creativity flowing even when you're away from your studio. Well, that's going to do it for the video. Thanks again, Bo, for allowing me to be on here. I hope that this has shown that pocket operators are truly a really good time. And when it comes down to it, that's how music should be. When you create music, it should be a fun experience. And pocket operators do a great job at making the entire music experience enjoyable and accessible to everyone. If you want to learn more about pocket operators or see me jam on them, please come to my channel. It's just Gar Hoover on YouTube, or you can go to Gar Hoover underscore music on Instagram, or you can check out my band camp. I've got music that I've made on pocket operators there as well. Thank you once again, Bo, for allowing me to be a part of Summer of Synths. And just remember everyone, since are meant to have fun with it is not supposed to be something that is serious so pocket operators keep it in that realm of having fun being inspired and allowing yourself to have a good time i hope you all have a great rest of your week and see you in the next one Thank you so much, Gar, for being a guest here on Summer of Synths. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to go and check him out. I've linked him in the description. Also, don't forget to check out the Summer of Synths sponsor, DistroKid. They are linked in the description. And if you want to release some music, you should use DistroKid. And if you click my link, you not only support the channel, but you support Summer of Synths and future Summer of Synths events. And I just have to say thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting Summer of Sins and my channel and have a great summer. Talk to you later.